Hi guys, welcome back. Um, Click a snap have now released the new site, as we all know. Uh, if you're not on there, there's a few things that you need to go through, or we need to go through, to get you on the site. Now, Tom has said that you need to reset your password. So once you've reset your password, if you have no problems with that, you'll be able to get straight on the site. If you're on Google, as in Gmail, you might have a few problems with it. You're going to have to whitelist, click a snap, email address. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's get on the computer. You do. Go on to Google. Go on to Gmail. Then you need to go into the star at the top. Settings. See all settings. And it's this one here you need. Filters and block address, blocked addresses. Now... It says there, the following filters are applied to incoming mail. So that's what you need to put on. So create a new file. And then in the box, you just need to put info at clicksnap.com. So, and that's it. Create filter. It'll ask you where you want to put it. And all I'll put is basically, uh, where is it? All I basically do is I click on categories. Choose filter, put it into primary. Um, the rest of it, I don't think it matters. If you want to label it, you can. But you have to create a label. I don't think there's any problem in that. And then it says create filter. So now all emails from Clickersnap should come through, no problem. So that's basically how to get, when you reset your password, which everyone needs to do to get onto the new site, you have to reset your password. Your old password won't work. If you want to use the old password again, I'm sure you can. But just reset your password. That's how you do it on Google, um, on Gmail, to basically whitelist it. Once you've done that, you'll then jump on the site. And I'll show you the quick site. So this is what you're going to come up with. And... Although all my photos are showing up, there are some people who basically the photos aren't. Don't worry about this at all. They're still migrating stuff. And I'm going to be saying that word a lot in this video. And the reason being is they're still migrating stuff, i.e. taking stuff from the old site and putting it on the new. But the first few things you're going to notice is, one, your subscription level. Now, your subscription level might not be there in fact i know it won't be there but don't panic all you've got to do is send an email to info at clickersnap.com put the title a subscription level and then a very brief email basically to state what level you were on on the old site okay and your username will be helpful so they at least know what account it is once they've done that, bearing in mind they're probably getting in excess of 10, 15,000 emails a day, if not more, because of other things, and we'll go into them in a second. They will go through that and they will manually change your subscription level, which they've done to me. So if you're on a pro account, if you're on, um, let's have a quick, quick look here. Uh, account settings, still trying to work my way around. So, as it states here, plan cannot be modified due to admin setting it for you manually. In other words, they've put me on the pro account because they're still migrating the subscription levels from the old site. So, again, info at clickersnap.com. Subscription level. What subscription level you were on last time, I... Um, Add free, seller or pro and let them know. It doesn't have to be a rant. The basic information they need is your subscription level and your account details. Okay? Your username. I suggest you do this after you've logged on so at least you can see what name you're under because everyone's going to be different and it's not going to be like me who has AJ Stowe's photography or John Stove's or whatever. It might be something totally random but tell them what account you are 
and what subscription level you're on. Okay? So that's that one. So when you go into the likes of your account, you can see I'm verified and pro. Now the albums are showing up, as you can see. But again, there's no photos in them. Again, it's a migration issue. Although the albums are there, the migration for or the your photos are on the site, but they haven't been put into your albums yet. Okay? So again, it's all migration. They're all coming from the old site to the new. So you don't have to worry about that. They will turn up in the albums they're supposed to be in. The big one, which is probably going to be on everyone's mind, is the money you've earned from the old site. Now, me being me, I didn't cash out from January the 5th of last year. Oh, sorry, this year. And I had something like $63 in there. Now, after speaking to Tom, probably every day apart from Christmas Day, and maybe Boxing Day, I don't think I did, but he assures me that all the monies that you earned, or I've earned, or anyone else has earned from the old site will be migrated over. There's that word again. Will be migrated over, so you will get them. He's hoping that the migration will take another 7 to 10 days. It might take longer. But what you've got to remember is what the migrating. They're migrating. All your likes all your comments, all of what you've been paid. It's a lot of data to move over. You know yourself if you're a photographer, you put your card into your computer, you download them into Lightroom, it might take 20 minutes. Times that by a million or two million or three million or even 10 million bits of data that I've got to come across. It takes time, okay? Stick with it. At the moment, because I'm on a pro account, I'm getting paid the 0.9 of a cent. Now, I checked on when I got this, and I got this on the 23rd, I think it was the 22nd or 23rd of December that my pro account was put on for me. Okay, so what have you earned? Well, at the moment, I'm at $2.11. So how many days is that? What were you on? So even if you say five days, five days I've made two dollars and eleven cents in five days, and this is without the site doing what it does, which is automatic um, systems to Facebook and to Twitter. None of that's in place yet. It's going to be good. This I'm not going to go into the likes of um, uploading images and or anything like that or what subscription level if you're new to the site you should be on there's no point until we have a fully working site it's very difficult for me to help you get on what you think you should be on but even on the free accounts now so if you signed up now even on a free account you're making 0.1 of a cent so every paid view or in 10 paid views you'll get one cent which you didn't on the old site. So sign up, have a look around, wait until the site comes out, and then determine whether or not you want to be a paid subscription. That's all I can suggest. If once you've got everything up there, you've got your subscription levels, you're messing around um, looking at stuff, and you see a bug, the best thing you can do is, one, go onto the Facebook group. I'll put the link in the description so you can join that. Um... And have a look on there to see if it's already been listed. There was a lot on there. But minor things. Could be a spelling mistake. Could be anything like that. Um, a redirect not working. A page 404. Yeah, page not found and all that lot. If you come across anything like that. And you can't find it on the Facebook group. What I suggest you do. Is email info at clickersnop.com. Click a snap, click a snap dot com, and put bug in this um, description, like in the title of what the email is about, and then a brief description of what what the bug is. Okay, uh, they are working through the bugs and everything else as quick as they can. 
but at the moment I think there's only one developer in office trying to get through I don't know could be tens of thousands of little bugs could be spelling mistakes anyway um, but they're trying to get through them as soon as they can as far as I know Thursday which is tomorrow there should be another update uh, how big it is is a different matter what's in it we're not sure Tom hasn't had any emails from them yet so there you go so what do you think of the new site once you're on it um, if you want to find out how I got into this go and watch these videos here I'll see you on the next one bye now